I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Palm Heroes 2, also known as Palm Kingdoms and Pocket Heroes. This has gone through several incarnations and is available for m most systems, I think, outside of the consoles. Just about all sorts of uh, devices and computer systems anyway. Uh, as you might be able to tell from the title, it is sort of like, well, it's it's a lot like the old Heroes of Might and Magic games. Uh, let's go ahead and play through the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial. This map will show you the basic game principles. Let's leave this neat valley and head up east. Here's your heroes to explore. Your castles are places where you can recruit forces. Heroes gain experience and powers over time. Okay. Yeah, get rid of those messages and uh, just make sure that uh, I'm not missing out on anything over here. Okay, hero can't move any further. Man, those messages are annoying. to visitable construction, many of them give visiting heroes some bonus or extra powers. In this case, it's the fort. During the hour spent in the fort, the master shows you new defense technique. Plus two defense. There's a forge. You approach a forge. You walk inside and see a blacksmith at work. He puts the hammer away and says, I can repair your armor. Plus one defense. And I just picked up an object. You have picked up an artifact. Usually artifacts are automatically used by the hero you pick as you pick them up. However, you may wish to change the artifacts your hero uses. Okay. Uh, I got boots that give me increased movement and speed. And, um, it sounds a little loud to me. There we go. And I'm out of turn again. Treasure chest. Once you pick up a chest, you have to make a choice whether to keep the gold or spend it to increase your hero's abilities. Well, I think I've got plenty of gold in this scenario. After scouting the area, you stumble upon a hidden treasure. You may take the gold or distribute it to the peasants for experience. Let's put experience. And let's go pick up another artifact. Silver sword attack plus one. Magic Stone. These constructions increase your hero's spell power and knowledge. You found a group of pagans worshipping at their strange glowing stone. You join the ritual. Silently, they teach you new ways to cast spells. Okay, and that symbol indicates spell power. And there is knowledge, which determines the number of spell points you have. And here's a little book of spells. You can see what you have here. I guess I can talk about the interface because it doesn't really mention it, but here you have your inventory, obviously, that uh, you are holding in a bag, and here's what you have equipped. And uh, these indicate keys. You can only go through certain areas if you have a certain color of key. Here are the troops that we have. Here is a puzzle, which uh, has nothing yet. Um, I can't cast any spells, damn it. And this last thing is to dig, and uh, you can spend some time digging around at your location. Garden of Knowledge. A monk sitting in the center of a garden invites you to meditate with him. You do, and after a short time, you feel enlightened. Prophet Statue, okay. You touch the Prophet Statue and feel that you become more powerful. Hooray! Very easy. Now what's this? Obelisk. The blue crystal before you is called obelisk. Obelisks reveal some part of the puzzle that shows where a secret artifact is buried. Yeah, so that puzzle thing. You come upon an obelisk made from a type of stone you have never seen before. Staring at it intensely, the smooth surface suddenly changes to an inscription. The inscription is a piece of a lost ancient map. Quickly you copy down the odd markings and the inscription vanishes as abruptly as it appeared. Right, so it reveals part of the map. And uh, you can, the hotkeys for ending your turn are 
E and continuing on is spacebar. When you have more heroes, this button over here, you know what, let me uh, take this, okay. I gained a level, I'm going to go up to, uh, no, let's do increased experience, actually. So, uh, this one right here is the next hero tab, and as you have more heroes, then you can cycle through them. It also cycles through your castles. Let's go to the witch's hut. You can learn a random secondary skill when you visit the witch's hut. For example, wisdom or intelligence. Save before entering the hut, as it may give you a skill you don't really need. Uh, whatever. Okay, uh, she taught me air magic. So what kind of air magic do I know? Nothing, really. I have to learn the spells separately. Uh, okay, when you move on rough terrain, the distance your hero can move is greatly reduced. Okay. This is your first combat. Defeat the pack of skeletons to block the way. A battle has just begun. It is turn-based. Each cre creature stack moving and taking actions directly in order. Clicking on the battlefield to move, click on the enemy creature's attack, blah blah blah, let's just do it. Uh, you can right-click on uh, the things just to see what you've got. And uh, you can cast a spell during combat, you can wait a turn, or you can have your character's defense, but I think these guys, these young mages, will be okay. Yay. Glorious victory. Okay, easy peasy. Just keep taking experience. Uh, let's do advanced air magic to the forge. You approach a forge. You walk inside and see a blacksmith at work. He puts the hammer away and says, I can repair your armor. Plus one. Let's also pick up the shield, which gives me a defense skill increase of one and dragon's defense by five. Interesting. I can recruit troops at the White Wolf Den. I would like to recruit them. Yay, eight wolves. Okay, now I can't get to there. It looks like there are some black knights up there. A new week. Astrologers proclaim week of the squirrel. All dwellings increase in population. So, <clears throat> in the main game, when you have castles and dwellings like, uh, well, like this wolf den, actually, we can go back here now, and the wolves have replenished, so I can get more wolves for my army. That's fantastic. Um, let's go to the mage magic school and get young mages. I can get uh, more there, too. So, yeah, every week those replenish. Um, I cannot stand against those black knights right now, and I will die if I try. This road will take you to a castle. Conquering castles is one of the goals of the game. The one who owns more castles can recruit more army and has more chances to win. Uh, was there a thing? No. Well, maybe the fort. I forget what was at the fort. Anyway. Doesn't really matter right now. Observation tower. You have something Russian, an honorable construction. Uh, note your flag at the top. Many of them give you uh, treasure. So the observation tower increases my movement bonus, or yeah, by one, and increases my sight. Well, let's keep uh, keep the experience coming. Okay. Uh, well, before I go over there... No, actually, I, I think I need to take that. As you approach the stables, the head groom appears, leading a fine-looking warhorse. This steed will help you speed... or will help speed you on your travel... Uh, your tra uh. This steed will help speed you in your travels. Alas, his endurance will wane with heavy riding, and you must return for a fresh mount... I think that should say per week. Each week, whatever. Now you must capture the castle. Each hero is equipped with a catapult that crushes castle walls, so your troops can get through. Uh, I want to take that first. Okay, I'm going to take this pathfinding, which reduces movement penalty for rough terrain by 25%, so we should be able to go a little bit faster. And, uh, turn. We'll have to wait for the next turn. Okay, here we are. Hmm. I guess I'll move my wolves up there. 
think we want to focus on the mages first because they are ranged and he just got a second turn you see that if you saw that tiny little symbol that came up on his uh, head there that indicated that his morale was high enough to give him an extra turn <laughs> Very nice. Okay, maybe I should focus my attentions on the uh, knights. Or whatever these are. Living armors. Takes only 25% damage from spells. Now see, I should have looked at that first. Because then I would have known that my magic attack would not have been very effective against him. Jesus. Lost way too many people. But, the castle is now mine. And at the castle, you can build things. Uh, we're going to build a factory, first of all, because I want the living armors available to me. And uh, up here are all your resources. Certain things take various resources. I'm sure that is uh, pretty intuitive. Let's recruit some people now. I'm just gonna take as many as I can. 36 mages. Yes, please. Okay, and now I have to wait a week for them to come back, but let's go to the tavern. There are no heroes in Okay, that's where you recruit more heroes to uh, increase your armies. Uh, mm, yeah, I'll take the money. Although, really, I didn't need to because <coughs> there are gems over here. Let's head to over here first. Mines provide you val valuable resources needed to build constructions in your castles and recruit troops. these. Okay, I now get a little bit of ore per day. Uh, I'll take this. Basic sorcery. Hero spells deal an additional 5% damage in combat. I'll take it. Okay, I'm getting some mercury. Uh, let's just keep taking this. Okay, let's raise the morale. I have to wait a turn. Now, this game, unlike the Heroes of Might and Magic game, uh, there is no real storyline to this one. Uh, there are just basically a bunch of maps. And I don't think there's an editor, so I don't think you get new maps. Witch's hut. You approach a strange hut and observe a witch inside studying an ancient tome on sorcery. As you approach, she turns and focuses her one glass eye on you. Ha! She screeches. I would not presume to teach and to to try to teach new tricks to someone so clearly as wise as you. You leave, but can't quite shake the feeling that you've just been insulted. Right. Well, it's a new week, so it's time to um, replenish our people. Now. <clears throat> per turn, you can actually build things, so you don't have to wait a week to build stuff. Uh, what is this? Allows me to learn spells. Let's learn some new spells. Slow, bless, magic arrow, dispel, cure. Fantastic. Let's recruit some more of these. I should have plenty of money. And uh, those mages are going to be pretty powerful for a while, but we're still not going to go back after these dark knights, not yet. Although I suppose I could go all the way over there and get some more wolves. Yeah, okay. Now see, because I took that pathfinding, I'm able to go down this road a lot further than I was originally. Okay, so all the way back here again, or hell, why not just go there? Because I need that horse.
Teleporters allow your hero to jump to another teleporter of the same kind. Yes, indeed. That is a teleporter, but we're not going there just yet. Um... I'll take the experience. Let's take some air elementals. The air elementals, awed by the power of your forces, begin to scatter. Do you wish to pursue and engage them? I have the option of doing quick combat here. This is very dangerous, however, because uh, you can lose just about everybody. And I'm not going to try and risk that. Let's just go ahead and do something here. Okay, collect a spell, blah, blah. Let's do a slow. Slow that guy down. And I'm going to have this guy just defend. Because, uh... uh I probably should have had them surround the mages. But, uh... The computer tends to go towards the ranged characters first. Um, nah, I think we'll be fine. So you want to protect your ranged units because they can be pretty powerful, especially the magic users. Damn, I can't get there. Hooray, at the cost of three wolves. Okay, I'm going to go with basic estates because that gives me some gold play. Very useful. Staff of wizardry. Take that. And I get a scroll of knowledge and another obelisk. Yeah, okay. Okay. You can see it right there. Now, where is that? Well, if we look where their snow line along that edge of the map is, it should be within here, probably over here. Okay. To the teleporter. Okay, let's go pick that up. Telescope, I can see a little bit further. Experience. Week of the Squirrel. Thought we just had that one, but whatever. An old knight appears on the steps of the gazebo. My liege, I will teach you all I know to aid you in your travels. Very good. Let's learn some better spells, shall we? There's a troll over there. I don't think I want to go for it just yet. Mm, let's keep the experience. Ooh, I learned Dispel. That's very nice. Yeah, I don't want to go there just yet. Now, here we go. Now you're ready to continue playing on your own. Consult the game manual for a complete list of game features and a detailed explanation of each of them. Enjoy playing Palm Heroes. And I get ten of these guys. Which are... Well, anyway, they're very good. I'll have to click on them when we get into combat. Gold mine, a thousand gold a day. Let's take this castle. No. No. I, I want you to keep going. There. Okay. Easy peasy. Now these guys are Thors. And they have a lot of good stuff. They have ranged and melee. And they're very powerful. Extremely powerful. Hooray! And this is now mine. Let's build an archer's tower. Because I want some more archers. And let's fill up on peasants, why not? Okay. Um, let's do... Well, I don't trust the quick save in this game. For one thing, if you die... <coughs> You cannot, well, I mean, you, you can't just quit, hit the quick load. You have to go through 
the death screen and lots of crap like that, and it's just annoying. Um, well, let's go pick up some stuff before we get too much further here. Book of Wisdom, the new observation tower. Now this little tower here leads into the green territory, which I believe are the only enemies in this scenario. But he says, no one told me of your coming, says the border guard. I cannot let you pass. Perhaps you should first seek a key master's tent. That is this. Now this is a red key, and as I said, these indicate that you have keys. And so there are various ones per color. Let's attack these. Witch hut. Okay, she can't teach me anything. Let's do the mage citadel. Now there's a horde of mages there. Hmm. Let's go after these rogues instead. Alright. So, uh, what day is it? Six? Well, let's go down to the bridge. And there are warg riders. Okay. So I think I'll come up here. I think we're good to go on those black knights now. But I gotta wait a day before I can recruit more here. You know what? Let's just go attack these dwarves and open this area up. Um, let's fight it just because I don't want to, uh, don't want to risk it. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't really need him protecting. See, <clears throat> now these archers aren't very good at, uh, this low level. What you really want is a mass of them, or a horde, or whatever, however many it qualifies. You want a lot of them. Okay, he's going after my major. Damn, those Thors are amazing. Okay, the red f tent in front of you will give you a key to the red guard. Red guard. I think it meant the red guard tower, but a stone tower with a red flag. Yeah, we haven't gone there yet. The caretaker of this key master's tent recognizes you as you approach. I have already sent word that you will be allowed to pass, he says. Be gone. Ooh, fifth level. Oh, shoot. I skipped through that, but it was the month of something. It's a new month. And there's plenty of gold here, so we can afford to take the experience instead. Okay, this idol. You found an ancient and weathered stone idol. Kissing it is supposed to bring luck or happiness, so you do. The stone is very cold to the touch. A new sword. You know what? Let's look at some of my equipment here. If you double click on it, okay, it attack skill by three, attack skill by one. Well, definitely want to do that. Although, if I equip the Staff of Wizardry instead, I'd get something, and this increases the combat speed of all my units. Hmm. Knowledge by four. Knowledge by one. Wait a minute. No knowledge of four and four. So this book, again, would actually not be very helpful. Um, since I don't really use, or I'm not really using uh, spells that much in combat, I don't think we really need it at the moment. Uh, advanced estates? Yeah. Let's make sure we never have need of money again. Let's play against gargoyles. Damn, those Thors are amazing. Whoa, wait button. Okay, yeah. I guess uh, the wait button just means it'll show up later. But you know what? I don't really need to... Hooray! Okay. Anyway, I was heading back to this portal. But no, 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 wait. Damn it. Getting to build stuff. Mage Guild allows me to learn all the spells. Marketplace is where I can buy and sell resources. 
But let's get the guardhouse so I can recruit some pikemen. And I can start throwing down lots of money on the... Whoops, 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 whoops. I wanted you to go there. You guys combine. There we go. Okay, anyone I can get? I can get Jacob. But he, uh, it says he's occupied by another guy. What? Oh, I have to get out of there first. No. No, I want to. There we go. Now I'm inside. Okay, so now I can hire Jacob here. I've just hired another hero. We can freely switch between them. Right. And uh, because I've already recruited everybody that's available here, he's going to have to basically just sit there. But I could scout around, although he's not really going to be useful for a hell of a lot. Um, anyway, I wanted you to go up here to the portal. Keep going. Yes, I want to end my turn. Oh yeah, and there's a troll right there. Uh, Jacob. Alright, well, why don't we come down here and at least grab something. Hmm. gonna make it. You know, I've got all that gear. <laughs> I wonder... no. That sucks. Got a crystal rose. Okay, we're not going much further, neither are we. Um, before I do that, there is, there's a Hedrick. And he's learned all the spells, okay. I should build a mage tower. But, um, you know what, I'm just gonna have Hedrick... He, he can't actually move, son of a bitch. Oh, here's, here's the trade ability. Okay. Well, Hedrick, why don't I give you that? Hell, why don't I just give... Well, actually, you can't use that, but you might be able to use all those. So, good. Uh, come... Stop it! God, whoops. No, no, no. Back. <sighs> there. Now I've got the guy that I want. Hey, I think we'll be fine against these knights. Famous last words. Okay. Monks, yeah, I don't think we'll do anything against them or the young mages. See you back. Uh, okay, well, let's get this abbey going. You can recruit these ahead of time, and they'll just wait for you there. There might be a new hero that week. Next week. You really, I mean, for this map anyway, you don't need this many heroes. Um, okay, so he got stuck in here, so he may as well... Hmm... Actually, no. I think I'll just have him sort of wait out here. And next turn, or next time he gets back. Yeah, let's play against the Dark Knights, why not? Okay, um, who do we need to go protect? Necessarily lost for mages there. But I got a new uh, new thingy. I, I thought I had a new thingy. Wait a minute, is there a 
Yeah, okay. There's no indication of uh, what I'm on there. I think I'll take that. And while we're here, I may as well pick up some new guys. And uh, to get into here, you got to kind of squeeze between these trees, and it's not very obvious, not very apparent, but it's being blocked currently by some air elementals, whom Jacob has no chance against. New week. Okay. Keep going. 54. didn't want to... You gotta be careful about clicking on that too often. Because they just... They're clicking too, too much. You know, double clicking too much. Because that is what opens the castle. What else can I get? A jousting arena, but I don't have enough... what? Money. I don't have enough money. Well, why don't we build a marketplace then? And I can now go to the market, and I can... get rid of some of this ore? Still not enough. But I don't want to get rid of all my stuff yet. There is a new hero. Again, completely unnecessary. I don't know why I'm buying up all these things. Uh, it's so stupid. Um, let's send him back down here. Just for the hell of it. Why don't I send him off as well? Just a sort of, uh, I don't know. Okay, now I gotta choose who to get rid of for these mages. I guess I'll get rid of these pikemen who are just gonna sit there now and be completely worthless to me. I hadn't gone to that yet. Or maybe it's per hero. Okay, um, I had forgotten I had not cleared this out yet. No, I don't wish to fight. Why don't you just go here and block the way? Him, but I've got a, an item here. Um, okay. Well, why don't we just go ahead and try and make an actual army so that these guys can actually do a few things. I realize I've got seven pikemen just sitting there now up in the other territory. Completely wasted. And I need money. But uh, that happened. No, no, no. Okay, so let's have you go back up there and. Uh, collect those seven pikemen. Uh. Ouch. See, 13 damage from that damn troll. But 
I've got so many young mages right now. Hooray! What was he carrying? Okay. Um, I'll have him come down here now. There, do not open that damn thing. And he's got peasants. Let's bring him over here. And there. Why don't I give you the peasants? I apparently can't get rid of all of them. So I'll have him. Oh, I. Okay, I can't. Let's just dismiss him then. Oh, he was holding on. Whatever. I'm going to get rid of all my freaking heroes. Except for the main one. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait. All I've got left is the Mage Guild. And what does the sawmill do? Excess wood. Protect from earth and fire. Completely unnecessary. I'm gonna have him come down here. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna two-part this. So I will see you in the next episode.